that we're gonna fall in love. I don't care about you and him. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin. Cause we're still sleeping in my head. I don't care about you and him. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin. Cause we're still sleeping in my head. Hey, hello, I'm Julie Jo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. You can hit the subscribe button if you like videos focused on scams, multiple marketing companies, cults, and you can hit the bell button if you want to get notified when I post or when I go live. If you're not new here, welcome back. We are going to be looking at some, for lack of a better word, ignorant monate huns. And when I say that, I mean they are purposely either missing the point, they purposely don't look at the facts, or they know it and refuse to believe it. So you can choose whichever one you think it is. I will keep my choice to myself. <laughs> like I said, both these people are Monet. I know one of them is at the top Monet. I don't know about the other. I think she might be just a public figure too. So I think that before we get started, you should look at my description for any social media that you might want to follow. My Instagram, TikTok, and down there below. Let's get started. When you're using hot tools, if you aren't using a heat protectant, Did you guys hear that? If you aren't using a heat protectant when you're using hot tools, I I just like I don't have words. So is there a protectant when it comes to using my hair care products so that your hair won't fall out? Or is that just not using them? Is that how your hair doesn't fall out? Just don't use them? Nice. While I'm doing these tiny curls, there is something I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I recently heard from someone who said that they were hesitant to try Monate because a friend told them, oh, that stuff made, oh my God, this is going to take a long time. <laughs> that stuff made my hair fall out. Who's ever heard someone say that? Okay, listen, before I say what I'm about to say, I want you to know that I'm not trying to be mean because I too, a few years ago, like didn't know anything about hair loss. So, okay. So remember, she's not trying to be mean. So I'm expecting her to be maybe empathetic, kind. I don't know. Just not me. Would you consider name calling me? I would. It's not like common knowledge so if you've ever said that and you hear what i'm about to say i'm not being mean okay if you say that i heard that it can make your hair fall out or it made my hair fall out you sound like an idiot wow that is the nicest thing you can say in the world so not mean they call us bullies for calling them out and holding them accountable, but they're the ones that call people names. Got it. Sweet. Again, I'm not trying to be mean, okay? The reason why is, and you need to Google this, you need to do your research if you're going to go around saying that stuff, especially if you've never tried it. Products cannot make your hair fall out. Okay. All right. So I Googled. Um, this is what I got. $200 million. That's how much money Monet Global says it made selling hair care products in 2017 through multi-level marketing. Monet founder Luis Urdaneta YouTube videos show the family behind Monet luxuriating in mansions and fancy cars, all according to a class action lawsuit thanks to what many would think of as a pyramid scheme. I'm devastated with what my hair looks like right now. Customers like Heather Fox and market partners like Aaron Ostby I had to cut off my hair. Say Monet did them more damage than good. My dad used to always say I was like, um, oh, the from the Bible, I got my power from my hair. So it was... It was really upsetting, and I couldn't do that to someone else. Three recently filed class action lawsuits accuse Monet of fraud and deception, among other things, alleging an inherent design and or manufacturing defect in Monet hair care products causes significant hair loss and scalp irritation to many consumers. I mean, I don't know about you, but what I do know is there's over 500 BBB comments 
saying that Monet made them lose their hair. They got lesions on their head. It thinned out their hair and more. Sores on their head. I don't know, maybe they're all lying, I don't know. I don't know, maybe they just, um, maybe it's a lie. Hmm. We're going to read bettergoods.org that talks a little bit more in depth about Monet's lawsuits from hair loss. Okay, let's read. The controversy behind popular MLM hair care brand Monet. Monet is causing people's hair to fall out. The statement may sound like an exaggeration, but it is not. Class action lawsuits against Monet started to appear in 2015, all with similar claims of hair loss, scalp irritation, bald spots, and hair breakage. In 2018, all of these lawsuits were combined into one large class action lawsuit. Fast forward to 2018, and widespread claims started appearing online from customers from customers are claiming that Monet's products are causing the same issues, with major hair loss being a common complaint. These reports have continued on since then, and you can find reports all over the internet of users complaining about the use of their products contributing to scalp and hair loss. Some users suffering hair loss issues brought this up to their sales rep, who told them that their hair was undergoing quote unquote detoxification and that loosing hair was completely normal. Needless to say, it's not. Here's actually a picture of one of the women and the bald spot and the amount of hair she lost in one go. Let's take a closer look at why it's such a controversial brand. So the FDA investigates and it doesn't look good. As a response to these claims piling up, the FDA sent inspectors to Monet's Florida manufacturing facility where they reported Monet's cosmetics being prepared, packaged, or held under insanitary conditions whereby it may have become contaminated with filth. In 2019, in regards to the lawsuit that the FDA inspection report, a judge ruled that Monet's products were containing harsh chemicals that were made in contaminated facilities. In 2020, it was officially ruled that Monet and its distributors cannot make unsubstantial claims that Monet's products are detoxing the scalp and hair. Monet's products are clinically proven to increase hair growth and decrease hair loss. Monet is certified by any entity, including the FDA. Monet, the products are scientifically proven. Independent lab tests confirm the safety and effectiveness, effectiveness of the products. Products do not contain polyethylene, glycol, petrochemicals, sulfates, harmful fragrances or colors, or are 100% vegan or cruelty-free. These things I just listed is what the FDA inspection report, with that, a judge ruled that they cannot say these claims. They are unsubstantiated claims, and they are not allowed to say it. Sales reps that violate this ruling are to be terminated immediately. However, hair loss claims remain ongoing to this day, and you'll find reps making unsubstantial claims like the ones above. Ingredients and greenwashing. This is the next section. This is what Monet says. Monet's ingredients are naturally based, safe, and pure. But with other brands recognizing the power of botanical oils, how is Monet any different? The answer lies in our rich formulation that make these naturally based ingredients work in harmony with each other, combining and reacting to pump up their natural properties to take Monet to the next level. Here's a little bit about the science behind Monet. This is from Monet's website. Moving on with what they say about this, with Monet's claims of being naturally based, safe, and pure, we can quickly say that these are greenwashing claims, and the brand is far from free of potentially harmful ingredients. A brief and incomplete list of questionable ingredients you'll find in Monet's line of products include fragrance. All Monet's products contain fragrance, which in turn contain undisclosed lists of ingredients from a list of hundreds of potential ingredients. At Better Goods, we never recommend products that have been that have hidden fragrance lists and always recommend those that use natural scents from essential oils and extracts. Behentramonium chloride, a well-recognized contact allergen. Cocamidal propyl betaine, another well-recognized contact allergen. Dimethylamine, an environmental toxin. Stereth 21 and Cetereth 20 potentially contaminated with, with exylene oxide and 1,40-dioxane carcinogens. Considering the fact that these products are making users' hair fall out, there must be something causing this to happen, and it's unlikely that it's a detoxification period. So there's that. Let's hear what else K 
Katie has to say. Okay, okay so here's, here's the thing. thing. On, On that, that topic, topic, you need to know, know about shedding, shedding right? right? Healthy shedding and hair loss are not the same thing. So we want products that are going to promote healthy shedding. First off, you shed around up to 100 hairs a day. If you don't wash your hair every day, it's going to seem like a lot more when you shower. So I'm guessing shedding includes all the bald spots, the lesions, the reactions. Okay. Interesting, Katie. But shedding is a good thing because when you're shedding, you're making way for a healthier, stronger hair follicle, right? Science lesson today, this is what happens when you switch from dirty products to clean products. Using dirty products literally clogs your hair follicles. The hair that makes it through all that is thin, it's brittle, and it's being artificially held in your scalp by all that gunk. So I guess with that right there, I would consider Monet dirty. I mean, we just read some of the ingredients and the hidden fragrance lists. So I'm guessing Monet clogs your hair, your pores. Girls. Okay, so, which, have you guys heard about the viral curls? Like, really small curls? It's like 90s hair. Anyway, so, with the hair cycle, the way it works is if you are actually experiencing true hair loss, um, you're going to typically notice things about three months after something happens. So, like, women, right? When we have babies, most of the time postpartum hair loss will kick into high gear, like, three to four months postpartum. That's when, like, you'll really start to notice it typically in the shower. Um, other things, you guys, stress, trauma, um, a new diet, like a major life event, a major change, like all of those are the types of things that could cause actual hair loss. Oh, okay. So it's never gonna be Monate hair products uh, that cause the actual hair loss. Those people must be experiencing something else. It can't be Monate hair products. Around these parts here, we call that denial. The fact of the matter is, many, 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 hundreds and hundreds, likely thousands of people have experienced not only intense hair loss and balding, but lesions, uh, reactions on the scalp to Monet hair care. It's not because of their stress. It's not because of the food they eat. It's because the one factor among these thousands of people was they switched to Monate hair care. And it makes sense when you look at the greenwashing, all the hidden things that they don't want to talk about. It's just the truth. And just because you don't experience it doesn't mean many others don't. Listen, Linda, I'm going to need you to chill. If you're one of those people that's like, oh, I heard Monate can make your hair fall out. Um, you gotta, you gotta educate yourself and you just never know when you're going to say that to the wrong person. Like I have. Yes. Uh, I do recommend educating yourself just like we did just a few minutes ago. A friend, a girl on my team, she sells money, right? Her daughter actually, her daughter has alopecia and her hair literally fell out in chunks. Okay. So you say that to Alicia, like, I heard those products can make your hair fall out. Shedding and hair loss is not the same thing. That's a strawman fallacy. It's a strawman argument that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. You can say that I heard Monet made your hair fall out because many people have said that that is their experience. It's not just they heard. People have said this and they've gone into litigation and lawsuits with it. I'm so sorry for the mother whose daughter has alopecia. That is not anything to play around with. But that doesn't mean you can't say anything about it. That's such a weird thing. And, and she's using a fallacy to try to make her point, which instantly shows me that she has probably having some cognitive dissonance trying to make sense of all of this. Let me show you my friend's daughter. So quit saying that. <laughs> it's a stupid rumor. And if it were actually true, like we wouldn't be in business. I. You mean if it were actually true, there would be many lawsuits that have gone on that turned into one giant lawsuit that Monet still hasn't gotten over and that Monet made news literally uh, and, and none of it's complete either. I think there are some lawsuits that Monet has settled from what I know, but uh, none of it is, is finished. You can still be, this makes no sense, you can still be in business while also being, be, being sued 
you can still be in business with litigation going on amongst that business. Um, hello, crypto? I, I, I literally wouldn't be able to do this if that were actually the case. So next time you hear someone say that. You mean the case for you. You wouldn't be able to do this if your hair was floating out. True. And that's how a lot of those people felt. Kind of have to laugh it off. You guys are now educated. You know all the things. So we Gucci. Educated with what? You've given us no sources. All you've done is speak out of being annoyed. That's it. However, I have given a source, a couple sources that I'll link below. Where are your sources, Katie? Now, let's talk about why this weekend is the best weekend. It's the best time to get started on these products. Now I like, I can't like think, I feel bad. I hope that that was not offensive. If you say that you are not an idiot, you are amazing because four years ago, I probably would have said that just because I didn't know. But, oh, Katie, thank you. You think I'm amazing? But if that is what has been holding you back from trying, please, please reach out to me because I'm telling you these products are all I have used since May of 2019. Okay, so about this flash sale. Cool. Thank you, Katie, for all of that. Moving on to our next ton. I've actually recently covered this person. I forgot her first name. She's in the top 10 of money, or at least she was at one point. Let's uh, take a gander what she's going to say. Okay, so something that I have been discussing with my boyfriend lately is that the corporate world or any organized corporation like that, say like the military, is not a good place for people that work hard. And I say this because as a Okay, everybody shake it off. I know that just pissed you off. I know. <sighs> I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm not even gonna say anything to that. Salaried employee, you can be the hardest working person that shows it the most, that never misses a, a day, that works harder than everybody else, but you literally are getting paid this Wait, wait, I just, I've got to listen to that again. I just need to make sure that she said what I think she said. Okay, so something that I have been discussing with my boyfriend lately is that the corporate world or any organized corporation like that, say like the military, is not a good place for people that work hard. Yes, she did say it. And everything I said previously, I, I feel the same. <laughs> previously, I, I feel the same. And I say this because as a salaried employee, you can be the hardest working person that shows it the most, that never misses a, a day, that works harder than everybody else, but you literally are getting paid the same amount as someone that doesn't do their job, that doesn't show up, that doesn't give a shit, and they're literally doing half the amount of work and making the same amount as you. That's not true. Maybe in, in some cases it is, right? Some people are not good at firing people, but that person will likely get fired or um, you'll get a raise. Or by golly gee, thank God they're at least making money when they work. I don't know. Listen, in MLMs, you don't make money when you work. Even if this was a situation, which by the way is shitty and you should get a raise or that person should get fired, it, at least they're making money when they work. I couldn't say the same for MLMs. The military is the exact same way. My ex-husband used to always say it's never pays to be the best because they put more work on you and all of that. Not to mention with the corporate world is that you'll never make more than your boss. Okay, that whole to be the best, they put more work on you and whatnot. I mean, there in some cases, that's absolutely true. And that's where kind of boundaries comes into place and it's important to learn those. Yeah, I'll keep, let's keep watching. Because it's almost impossible to take your boss's job. And then there's a cap. What I love so much about what I do is that you get rewarded for your efforts and you have the ability to earn more than the person above you, above them, above them, etc. There's no, no, you get rewarded for everyone else's efforts below you. They don't get rewarded for their efforts. You do because you're at the tippy tippy top. It's not about how much effort you put into it. We know that we know that there's no way that 99% of people aren't putting effort into it. That's just absolutely ridiculous. And if you believe that, are you okay? Are you okay? Your efforts, hers in particular, are probably not very much. I mean, listen, she's going to make carts 
good job. So does everyone else below you. But when they make carts, they're, you're also getting paid. When you make carts, they're not getting paid for it. So let, let's be realistic. No like block there. Like there's no cap on my income. I can make literally as much as I want. And my hard work and efforts is going to be rewarded versus the person that does jack shit or that doesn't show up, it's not consistent, and it's going to reflect in their paycheck for the most part. Not true. Not true. You know that the majority of people, even if they work hard, don't make money in MLMs because of the way that the MLM business model is set up. It's made for one person of people to be successful. Right? And so if you are a hardworking individual that values work, that values what you do, that loves people, you are not meant to be in the corporate world. <laughs> You should probably be an entrepreneur so you could pay yourself, so you can be your own boss, or be in a structure that pays according to effort. Um, and yeah, it's not the MLM structure. I mean, I don't know how else to tell you. It's just not. It's not. And that is, I, it pains me to see my boyfriend work sometimes because he's so good at what he does and is not compensated for it. Okay, the last thing I want to say about you're saying he's not getting paid for what he does. Or you're saying he's not getting paid what you think he should get paid for what he does. I get it. I don't think my husband's getting paid enough either. However, he is getting paid for when he works. And he has the ability to apply for another job, one that he will get paid more in and whatnot if he chooses to. In MLMs, you try another MLM, it's the same thing. Corporate world too is that because you're not getting paid by the hour, and you're getting the same amount, your days, instead of being an eight hour day, could be a 12 hour day. <laughs> like, and you're still gonna make the same amount as if you worked a five hour day, an eight hour day, or 12, 12 or 14 hour day. Um, and another thing about working in the industry that I work in, or even hourly pay, even hourly pay really isn't that great, but working in the industry that I work in, I have the ability to get all the work done that I need to accomplish in a matter of two hours, three hours, four hours. It's because you're at the top of the company. The majority of people are not, and they're working way more than that. Way, way more. And then I'm done. And, it, and the work that I put in reflects the pay that I receive. Um, so if you've been looking for something different, I would love to chat you, with you about this pay structure. If you're actually want to chat about the pay structure, okay, let's do it. All right, money and time out. Time out. If you've heard this before, don't leave. There's more to this video. <laughs> Some of y'all are like Julie Joe. You've read this about a hundred times. Well, it makes it proves my point. You know, proves my point. Okay, we have money's 2021 income disclosure statement. Let's talk about their structure that she <laughs> won't talk about. Uh, money market partner, very bottom level, 93.3% of the company is at this level. The average annual earning is $144 a year, and the median, which is most accurate, is $21 a year. Okay? All right. I think that's all that needs to be said, to be honest. Pretty embarrassing. Consider joining me. Consider this. One, when you join me this month, you get a second oil for free. You get our energy supplement. You also are getting dry shampoo and something else for free for $200 value. So free gifts for you. Um, also our holiday sets and tonight. So, um, if you want to take advantage of either of those and before I offend anybody else, I'm not saying that you should leave your nine to five job. I'm just saying that as a hardworking individual on a salary, sometimes it doesn't work to your benefit. But Oh, I'm pretty sure you were alluding to them leaving and doing that. You literally said that they should become an entrepreneur instead. Oh. Hmm. There are plenty of good corporate jobs out there that do pay well, that do compensate and things like that. Um, I'm talking to the people that feel like they work their ass off and are not compensated for what they actually do. Um, and then the person next to them gets paid the same. That's all I'm saying. So I have no... It seems like some people got upset with what she said. And uh, she had to take back some of it. No hate on the 9 to 5 world. Um, I think there's a time and a place for it. I'm not one of those people that likes having a boss. So for me, this works for me. I just don't like being told what to do. Um, that checks out. You don't like being told what to do. You don't like hearing from anyone else about the facts. 
you get really pissed off uh, from what I have seen when people share facts and it upsets you because it's not what you want it to be. As you can tell, our pal here has a little bit of a past with anti-MLM. Well, that was a hot mess. It's embarrassing. Like, it's so embarrassing to sit here with facts that I can just, hey, look at this. Read that. Look over here. With them going, mm, there's nothing that proves it. Just listen to what I'm saying. With them showing no sources, just speaking out their ass because they're annoyed. And I mean, either lying or just pure ignorance. Also, I guess, you know, one of them called us an idiot, so there's that. She did take it back, though. I'll give her that. You took it back, my girl. I hear you. Good job, Monet. Thumbs up for the best people in the biz. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear your thoughts on these videos below. I'm sure plenty of you have some thoughts. I am so grateful that you were here and I'll be posting another video soon. I hope you have the most amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. And whenever you're watching, I'll see you next time. I don't care about what has been I only care about your